Okay, hopefully you can hear us. We are actually in a restaurant with uh, a sea view behind us. Very, very nice. <laughs> so we will sit here and have some lunch with you guys and then maybe walk around Samporna. Although it's kind of tough to walk around Samporna because there's a lot of action out there and it's quite tiring. Yeah. Can you guys hear us? Can you hear us? Hello, hello. <laughs> Loud and clear, hopefully. Let us know where you're watching from so we know who's in the chat. I think something is going wrong because we don't see any comments. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, shout out to Sarah Fu, our stand-up paddleboard friend. So I'm a little sleepy now because we have not eaten yet today. Ivana and I have been working very hard and we are not yet eating. Shout out to Seven Hand Explorer, a very new member, a couple yeah. days old as well as RC Borneo, who yeah. will be featured in an upcoming video. <laughs> Shout out to Andre, watching from Romania. Very nice. Hi, from Bucharest. Very, very nice. So the idea of coming to Samporna. Oh, oh can hello, abroad can in the chat. Abroad. What's can up, abroad Ken? In the Where are you chat. now? It should be a week or two, and we will reunite with our friend Yeah, Ken. in a we few days, actually. We are very excited for that. What day is today? 11? Today Sunday. Sunday, the 11th, no, 12th. Oh, so, Sin McKing, watching from Tuaran. Ooh, Tuaran me. Where the best noodles in Sabah are. <laughs> the best noodles in Sabah. Straight up. <laughs> so a few days we'll read up with Ken. Shout out to Sabran in the chat. Yeah. Thanks for joining everybody. So we'll be in Sarawak on the 15th. Our tickets are booked. So we'll be there on the 15th, and then we'll see Ken. So... Woohoo! Excited to see you, Ken. We'll party. We'll have fun with Ken, I'm sure. Yeah. So the idea of coming to Samporna, where we are now, is to go to the islands. Yeah. Uh, although we have not made it to the islands yet. We have not made it to the islands yet. <laughs> we did set out to go to them one day, but we got a little distracted. We have a relatively interesting video coming soon. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting... The video from here is interesting. I don't know how to explain it. Right, 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 right. You guys gotta. You guys probably have a rough okay. idea if you're from Malaysia. Thank you. Thank but you. Uh, we have yet to capture the coconut. beach vibes. We haven't been feeling like. Uh, Can you guys hear the boat on the background? So many. Uh, lots of boats back there. Lots of boats. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys can still hear us. Ivana's got a pandan coconut. Very nice. I think the best coconut, no? Mm -hmm. Pandan coconut? It's pretty good. Fresh. Okay, they can hear the boats. Can you still hear us? Or, or the boats <laughs> the are louder than us? The boats are very loud where we are right now. <laughs> but last time at the... Uh, Hi! At Someone's the, from Lombok, Indonesia, from Lombok, right? Hey, and, from, and from Calgary. Lombok and Calgary. Shout out to Calgary. Wow. Boom, Brashov, Romania. Still waiting oh. for our Brashov redemption trip coming soon. Yes, we'll come back for sure. <laughs> Shout out to Uno and Niki. All right, so our vlog from um, our vlog from Semporna. Yesterday we got up and we ventured out to try and go to the islands. Although it turns out, if you walk around Semporna, there are like thousands and thousands of not technically homeless people. Like you see poverty and... Yes, begging children. Yeah. So our intention, I should say two days ago, our intention was to go to the islands, but we felt quite, we didn't feel like in beach vibes. Yeah. So we have a uh, video coming soon Aww. about the stateless people. Are they exactly. sea gypsy kids? Yeah, exactly. They're, yeah. they're Philippines. But they're not even from the Philippines anymore because they've probably been here for generations. And so the word they use here is stateless. Stateless. They're yeah, like, stateless people living here. They don't really belong to the Philippines. They don't really belong here. And so they don't have any kind of like home? Although right. their home is here, actually. They don't have a government ID and so yeah. therefore they can't go to school. And so you see tons of children begging and it's quite sad. So we did meet up with a guy who is a volunteer at a program where they're making schools for these children. 
and it was really nice experience. Wow. Although all it was... All of a sudden, the, the boats are going crazy. All of a sudden, when we were waiting for you guys, for the live stream to start, nobody passed. <laughs> Once we started live streaming, the boats came out. Oh, hello from England. This is life. Uh, yes, our food is on the way. Manoom first, uh, Maten after. Yeah. Uh, Manoom dulu. Manoom dulu. Minum. Minum dulu. Minum. Dulu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So anyway, we have a video coming from Zimporna, but it's not exactly beach vibes. Maybe tomorrow we will collect ourselves and try to be yeah. beach people, island people, and yeah. happy-go-lucky. But, but the, uh, our vlog got a yeah. little sidetracked. Because the first day we were here, we were planning to do uh, island hopping, but the weather was horrible. It was pouring rain all day. Mm. So I was like, should we still go island hopping if it's like pouring rain? So right. the weather has something to do with it, and then uh, just the whole vibe of the the city got something to do with it. Yeah. And so. Shout out uh, to Cha in the chat as well as Dodo Explorers. Hopefully we can meet them again too. Right. Yes. Yes. In uh, in Sewa. Yeah. Sabran, the Kinabalu vlog is coming soon. It's already edited and scheduled on YouTube. It might be a week from now or so. Yeah. We've got like 10 videos scheduled on YouTube, already yeah, edited and everything. <laughs> Lots of videos already so we uploaded, could, but not out yet. In, in previous times, we would just release a vlog every single day. But the problem with doing that is if something happens again, we get robbed or we get sick, then you have no videos. So right now we have like two weeks of videos scheduled. Yeah. Uh, so we're filming stuff for two weeks from now. Hope you can hike Bohi Dulang, make sure it was not. So we plan to hike it tomorrow, hopefully. I mean, today it looks pretty good, so it's not raining, but if tomorrow rains, I don't know what will happen. We'll see what happens. So, we go with the flow. yeah, you can only hike it when there is no rain the day before, mm. or I don't know, the day off. So. Also, good advice from Weifang. She says, it's okay, just follow your heart. Yeah. That's what we did. We didn't feel right to kind of walk through all of the stateless children and then go to the beach and be like taking selfies on the beach like Woo! Uh, so yeah we just had a vlog about the stateless problem right which is a bit sad but we tried to make it as uh positive it has as a positive could. ending it has a positive ending we, uh, we went to a school that helped not only the children because they are stateless but it's also their main idea is to um better the community around because right. if these children don't go to school if they don't have education they'll turn out to be criminals mm. and the police can send them back to the philippines but then they'll always come back here because it's so close i mean their home is right here they don't have any family in the philippines they don't have any home in the philippines so they'll just keep coming back here so the solution is education mm. to yeah. lower the criminal right right right, right. Yeah. and it's, it's sort of impossible to police because it's a two-hour boat ride and so yeah. you can never just stop all the boats coming. It's just right. too hard. Uh, Hi, Steven so Ivana. Anyway. Can you shout out my name? What's the name? As Azani. Azani. Hello, shout out. Azani. Uh, Weifeng out. says, Saba is beautiful, but like all places, it had its problems. Right. right, of course. Yeah. So our experience in Saba has still been really good. We just had one uh, vlog yeah. get sidetracked because uh, unexpected. Here. We haven't it was unexpected. really seen it in other parts of Saba. Uh, just in I think Saba because now. we're so close to the Philippines. Yeah, area. I think so. As well as... Um, if you watch vlogs on Samporna and if you search up, uh, it's all about the islands. Yeah. So we were unexpected. True. We didn't we didn't expect it. There is no vlogs about the town itself. Yeah, Only it's a, about a tough the place islands. to vlog because it's not really. <laughs> yeah. It's sort of, it's sort but, of sad. But place. to go to the island, you need to pass through the town or the right. city. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Oh, hello so from Clea. What are you doing in the airport, Sabran? <laughs> Flying somewhere. Yeah. They are everywhere, just be careful wherever you are, yeah. Yep, yep, all good. Still loving Saba. Believe it or not, some practice black magic to enter Saba. Ooh. Ooh, 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 I ooh, believe ooh, it. Ooh. <laughs> Any plans to go to Brunei? Unfortunately, Brunei is closed. Uh, yeah, well, you can still enter, but you gotta fly. Oh, you have to fly. No land, the land border is still closed. Uh, so maybe the next time we're in Saba or Sarawak, we can go to Brunei. It would be nice to go to Brunei. Yeah. It's always nice to do a small country, even if, you, yeah. even if you do one week there, it's still a new experience. That's right. So Brunei would be a goal, as well as Singapore would be a goal yeah. for a week. Right, right. Because it's right here, and uh, it's open for flying. Yeah, Sarah, okay, well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Maybe we'll fly there for some maybe, time. Maybe we'll, well, on the way to the Indonesia. Thing is, 
Yeah, we also plan maybe, maybe to go to Indonesia from Sarawak driving, but we'll see. Maybe. Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is our life today. So what time is it? It's like 3 o'clock, no? Oh uh, yeah. We have not Do eaten something. any food today and I'm so hungry. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> Shout out to Christine Wong in the chat. Uh, we are really loving our little community. We yeah. are working on a name for our community. It's either Jet We have been Laggers. working on this for a few months. <laughs> I, I haven't found a good name yet. Jet Laggers <laughs> or Jet Setters? Jet Fam. Jet Fam working on it. Let us know if you have a good name. I might fly to Brunei to see my parents. Oh, Sarah, Sarah if you're going there, let us know when. Yeah. Maybe we'll we can tag along. We can, <laughs> we can crash your parents' house. Yeah. Have you already met orangutan? Not yet, but I think in Sabah we will go. No orangutans, only a jungle lady. Only jungle lady and kampung boy. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. It would be nice if Sarah goes to Brunei, it would be nice to go. Why haven't you eaten yet? Because I was working so hard and I asked my lovely wife to, if I could have some food, and she said, you're not allowed. <laughs> what? No! You make me sound like I'm a mean lady. <laughs> no, just busy working and then I didn't realize the time and then I said, ah, just go for food now. So we decided to eat on the live stream. Yeah. Uh, hopefully the food is good because I'm so hungry, I'm gonna fall over. Yeah. The guy said one plate is enough for two people, it better be enough for two and a half people. Because <laughs> I am hungry. Yeah, we found Sarah is from Brunei, so if she goes there, we can uh, go with her, it would be nice. No, Sarah Ooh, is Malaysian, but, but she, she, was, she grew up in, grew up in Brunei. Yum, yum, we are yum. sea gypsies. Thank you, thank you, thank you, da, 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 da. thank you, 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 uh, nasi puti and a fried egg on the side because we needed to uh, we needed to crank it up. I'm hungry. You eating chopsticks or fork and spoon? Yeah, fork and spoon better. Fork and spoon, baby. Here, I got you one already. Fantastic, thanks, Ivana. I'm just resetting up our uh, stand over here. Time for McCann McCann, guys. Salamat makan. Salamat makan. Uh, may I have some chili, please? Can. You want the soy sauce or the chili? Chili. chili? Maybe blachan. I don't know. Let me try. No, not blachan. No Ooh, it's spicy. No blachan means okay for me. The sambal is hello, spicy. Hello, Saiful and Sharifa. Hello, hello. Hello to you guys. Uh, Enjoy your meal, warriors. Thank you, Sabahan Explorer. Will do. Uh, do you guys know if Malaysia won the game yesterday? Because Malaysia was facing against, I think, Bahrain yesterday. Nobody cares. No. They lost. Yeah. Uh, was it close? Well, yeah. It's football, so the score is uh, okay, okay. pretty low. What was the score? 2-1. Okay, not bad. Not I really wish bad. Malaysia could be good at football because I just started getting into football. And uh, it's quite fun to cheer for national teams. Uh, black, black pepper, pepper chicken. Beef. Absolutely right. So they lost two to one. Okay, not bad. Shout out to Canada for making the World Cup. Yeah, I'm super excited for this. And I think we're gonna uh, probably win the World Cup this year. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. It looks so good. <laughs> yeah, we're hungry. Okay, let's eat. Yo, let's my dad. Oh, okay, your plate. I'm gonna make a nice little thing here, okay? Okay, guys, I wanted to show you this because this is this is classic. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, now you take this one and you do a little sambal drizzle. Oh my gosh. Have you ever seen something so good looking? And then the key trick here, guys, this is a pro move, okay? Feel free to take notes at home, okay? What you do now is you smash the, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. 
That right there, that is good eating right there. Boom, okay, time to eat. So what I'm gonna do for this live stream is I'm going to eat at a normal pace and I'm going to chew my food because I'm sick of Ivana commenting that I don't chew my food. I'm gonna eat like a big boy today. <laughs> oh, donation. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, trying to get your name. Uh, Terry M. Happy eating Terry. yum yum. Double smiley face Thank with you, two Terry. tongues, baby. Thanks, Thanks so Terry. Much. It really helps, guys, because uh, yeah. although Ivana and I are living our dream, we're not rich at all. <laughs> Quite broke. So it really helps. The donations really, really help. Ooh, that's good food. Mm -hmm. you, think, you think this chili is spicy? Yeah. Not for me. Steve has gotten better. I have swear. leveled up my spice game like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. And also I can your handle stomach it. is stronger now. My stomach is strong. You don't get sick anymore. I think the reason my stomach was so weak is because my whole life I only ate two things. Mm. <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. I think the more stuff you eat, the healthier you are. Two things. What are those? It was chicken breast and and uh, potatoes. <laughs> That's the whole ad. That's the first 27 years of my life. <laughs> You're right though. I think Sabah, the chili is more spicy. I wonder why. It is though, isn't it? I heard there's no chili in Sarawak. No chili in Sarawak? <laughs> oh, wow. I heard once an Indian guy went to Sarawak and was looking for curry all night long. And he couldn't find it. <laughs> he was searching. Yeah. yeah. Searching the streets. Or for chili. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I hope Sarawak will be more. as good as... Um, you want more chili now, right? Yeah, yeah. It's good, right? I hope Sarawak will be similar to Saba because we had such a good time. Shout out to Saba Tourism. They nailed that trip, man. Yeah. They did such a good job with that trip. And we are going with um, Sarawak Tourism. So we'll see what they have planned for us. It won't be two weeks. The one with Saba was 14 day itinerary. It was really special. There's just what? One, one, one week, right? With Rainforest Festival. Rainforest Festival. Rainforest Music Festival. Yeah. That's very exciting. Um, we Funk says Sarawak has different vibes. I'm curious what's different about it because uh, Saba was so great to us. Mm. What's funny is, as a travel blogger, usually the most recent place you've been to, you you love it so much. But uh, Saba, genuinely, although we're still here, yeah, one of my favorite places. <laughs> really? Really, really nice. Mm. Sort of similar to Brazil, where it's just paradise, so beautiful, and just lots of interesting stuff going on. Uh, Brazil is still up there, one of my favorites ever. Right. Shout out to Brazil. Uh, maybe in November, when World Cup is on, we'll be in Brazil. Do some World Cup parties. If Malaysia is still there, we'll cheer for Malaysia. But well, they didn't make it. <laughs> what? They didn't make World Cup. No, but they have another one. The last one is... This Saturday, I think. For World Cup qualifier? Yeah. Against Bangladesh, I think. No, I think Malaysia's already out. Oh, Do you guys okay. know if Malaysia can qualify for World Cup? Let us know if Malaysia can qualify for World Cup. If there's still a chance, I will be excited. But I think they already released the teams. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Mulu Caves. Yeah, Mulu Caves is a top, uh, top rated place. We'll try to get there if we can. Although, cave, it's hard to make a <clears throat> deal. It's pretty spicy. <laughs> I was bluffing. They were right. I was bluffing. <coughs> it's hard to make a good video in a cave because it's so dark. Mm -hmm. But we'll try Mulu Caves. Highly recommend it. Yeah, no World Cup from Malaysia. Mm -hmm. I didn't think so. If they qualify, I would cheer. I have my national my national jersey already. You have your national jersey saying Saipu. So hopefully all you Malaysians will cheer for Canada. If Malaysia's not there, feel free to join on the bandwagon. <laughs> because first time we made it since 1984. And only our second time in history. So, uh, if we can even win one game, I'll be amazed. I think we'll probably lose three in a row. <laughs> uh, nice food you want to have. You see how slow I'm eating, by the way? Wow. Like a big boy. Improving. But surely. So we're 
eating black pepper beef. Seems like a lot of Saba food is Chinese food. A lot, a lot. And uh, yes, we will be going to the Rainforest Music Festival. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what really to expect there. Can you make a vlog? Is it copyrighted music? Right. Will, will, will our video get taken down because of copyright? We're gonna do our best to- Everyone's uh, cheering for Canada. They're cheering for Canada, right? Yeah, cheer for Canada, feel free. Our team is doing pretty good. And uh, our team is really young. So I think in the future, the next World Cups, we could make them all. Because in the North American qualifier, we were number one. So we should be we should be in there. All right. You know, every year in the future. Or more often than not at least. I think lots of Sabahan are watching here. <laughs> Shout out to Sabah. Yeah. Nice people all around. If you guys have been to the Rainforest Music Festival, let us know what to expect. Because um, some people are saying, you're going to love the festival, you're going to love the festival. I don't know what to expect. There's not many vlogs online about it. It's not really clear what's happening there. Oh, also in Sarawak, our goal is to eat crocodile. Can. Can eat crocodile. Yeah, we'll see. And actually, a few days ago, Ivana and I ate live Sago worms, sago worms, <laughs> live worms. By the way, they're like so fat and they're so juicy, and it was a real experience. But Ivana and I both managed to eat one. Ivana did better than me. I was, I was a little bit screaming like a girl. <laughs> I was a little bit hysterical. But we both eat live sago worms. Are you gonna make can eat worms and crops? Yes. One hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> he might not want to. He's a little bit like me, where he doesn't like eating much. Or like I used to be, let's say. But we'll, we'll talk them in a crocodile at least. The worms, you, you hold it in your hand and it's squirming around in your hand like this. Then you bite its head off. Oh, it's really hard to eat. But we both managed it. Sago worms taste like dirt. Not really. Sago worms taste like nothing. There's almost no flavor. Yeah. The, 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 the part that's gross is when you bite it, your, the, it explodes and all the juice comes out. And the juice was like... I don't want to talk about yeah, it yeah, when I'm... Burning your appetite, burning your appetite, burning your appetite. <laughs> burning your appetite, my bad. This is not a uh, lunchtime conversation. <laughs> but yes, we'll try to get Ken to eat it too because it's quite interesting. <laughs> and what was funny was the owner of the restaurant was this young lady and she was eating them like, come on, just eat it. She, she's enjoying them. <laughs> I was like, I was like so embarrassed. Because I was so I was so shy to do it, and she was eating them like this. No problem. <laughs> I was like, "What? Oh, I have to do it now." It was still moving. Uh huh. That was something special. And after I bit one, it was still moving. <laughs> yeah, the part that because you don't eat the head, so you bite off the head. You want to put the head back in the bowl, and the head was still moving a bit. And I was like, "That was something special, something new." So now we are in. Uh, Semporna. We're actually right on the water here. We've got a beautiful restaurant. It's looking quite nice. And it's actually quite nice because it's quiet here and it's good lighting and it's kind of perfect for a live stream. What's better, durian or sago worms? Please. Come on. Sago <laughs> worms is. The thing is, the flavor was okay, but. Just what the, kind of question is that? <laughs> just a mental phobia it makes you so... No, even the taste, it wasn't good. It's just in your head, well, it's just not right to eat it. It's hard to eat. Hard to enjoy it at the very least. <laughs> durian, of, of course, course durian. durian la. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So afterwards, if we can, we'll go for a walk with you guys. But it's going to be tough because there's a lot of... Yeah, maybe not, actually. Maybe not walk. Maybe not. Plus, it's sunny and hot. It's hot for one, but also it's um, there's tons of stateless children around, and it's quite heartbreaking to walk around. We did learn why they eat sago worms. Evidently, the sago tree is very useful. So you cut the tree down, mm -hmm. and you can and you can take the sap inside to make embuyat, which is a food. So they get the they get the embuyat out of the tree, and then they use the wood 
for building stuff. It's good wood. And then the, the stump that's left behind slowly rots and the worms live in the stump. So you cut your tree down, you build your house, you eat the embouillette, and then a month later or some sometime later, you go back and get the worms. This is the million dollar question. Ikan Belize or Sego worms? We actually we actually talked about this in one of the videos. Ikan Belize or Sego worms? I think we have a different answer. <laughs> For you, Ikan Belize better. Of course. It's really hard. If it was if dinner was Ikan Belize and Sego worms, I might just wait for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> that's the that's two top level challenges right there. But always willing to try. For your protein. Sago worms for protein. It makes sense. I mean, logically, I can reason why sago worms would be okay to eat, but it's a phobia. It's irrational. It's irrational fear. <laughs> phobia. Okay, safe flight to Sabran. Flying to Kuching. Mm. Shout out to Kuching. We'll be flying there in a few days. Maybe we can see you if our schedules meet up. Good. <clears throat> Hi Rosa, relax guys. Steve has to, Steve still has to do the <laughs> tofu challenge. I know. Wait, sago worm or to tofu? Okay, sago worm or tofu? I eat tofu all day. What? Yes, I'd rather have three meals of tofu than one meal of sago worms. Wow. Tofu doesn't taste bad. I just don't know what it is. Sago worms is like a whole. I mean, to eat sago worms, I have to mentally prepare myself, and, like get focused, and like stand up and do exercise. Okay, okay here we go. Here. And then you go. But you, now you know what it is. People have been telling you what tofu is. <coughs> but still, Sago Worms is on another level of Have you tried Tarap? No. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Tarap is not in season right now. So there is no Tarap. Yeah, that's a bit of a shame. No Tarap and no red durian and no cheese avocado. Mm -hmm. Avocado cheese. Mm -hmm. So that's a bit of a shame because we would like to try all three of those. saying you can go to Bukit Tengkorak which is the Skull Hill it's an archaeological site loca located about 10 km from Sampurna town it's the largest pottery making factory in Southeast Asia during the Neolithic period yeah we passed by it yesterday really? yeah with our friend oh Skull Hill oh Skull Hill yeah 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 they found a bunch of pottery there yeah uh, it's like some incredible amount of years old. I forget how old it is, but it's really old. 2000. Yeah, yeah, amazing, right? Yeah, it would be cool. Maybe can. Mm -hmm. A good excuse for our next trip to Sabah. Right. Puffer fish. Give me puffer fish. Uh, challenge. Sea urchin. Is sea urchin the same as sea cucumber? No, urchin is a point, spiky one. Mm, right. Well, that's a challenge, all right. Uh, I will say this, shout out to Crystal in the chat. Hello, Steven Ivana. Shout out to Crystal and Kunyao. I'm local and I never eat sago worm, unless it's cooked. Ah. So we did have some cooked sago worms as well, but uh, I prefer raw, I prefer live. The cooked one was, Oh. <laughs> you prefer the life so I go warm wow. Yeah. Mm. Thank you to Lucas. I've seen you in Brazil and since then I've been following you. Beautiful videos. Thanks, Thank man. you. Shout out. When will you come back to Kuala Lumpur? In July. July 6th. We got our flight back. July 6th, 30 books. Mm -hmm. Okay, July 6th. And then we're gonna go around Malaysia. We got a couple stops we wanna make. And then we're gonna do Singapore, Brunei, into Indonesia. Deal. Maybe can. Maybe can. Are you guys going to Tawau next? Tawau is the place we landed. Mm -hmm. The airport. No, we'll be flying right from here 
to Kuching. Or there's a layover in KK. Mm -hmm. Near to KK, KK to Kuching. And our flights were actually purchased by Sarawak Tourism, which is the first time we ever got that. So that's very special. So thank you to Sarawak Tourism. And hopefully we have a good trip with them and make some nice videos. Why don't you make a road trip around Peninsula? We might do that. The problem with road trip for us is it's quite expensive because when we get to the next place, we want to stay there for four days. And when we're there, for, if, if we stay in one city for three or four days, we don't really need the car. Mm -hmm. I think the car is just sitting there accumulating money. Um, so for that reason, we usually, we usually just take a bus. Let like the next explore the city and take a bus. Yeah. Explore the so, but road trips are really nice. We did one with Ken and uh, our friends, telegrammers. It was really fun. You guys go to Taiwan or Hong Kong? Um, we have been to, sure, we have been to Taiwan, although it was a long time ago when, quite honestly, our videos were very bad. We were still learning how to vlog. Uh, Taiwan is a really nice place though. Yeah. So I would recommend going there. Uh, Hong Kong we have never been to, but this is a question people always ask us, like would you go here, would you go there? Honestly, we would go almost anywhere. <laughs> That's true. We enjoy most places, even if we don't enjoy them, even if you don't want to live there, let's say, uh, the experience of going there is so interesting. Like the act of traveling is always enjoyable, even if it's going to a place that's kind of wild, you know? Like we had a rough go in India, but the act of going there was still kind of fun. Mm -hmm. It was eye-opening, you know? Still a nice so, experience. Yeah. When you travel to learn more about the world so yeah we still learn a lot when we were in india mm -hmm. it seems like there's a lot more to do in sabah we keep mm -hmm. getting recommendations so uh, it's good that there'll be things to do on our next trip for mm -hmm. sure and to be clear guys we still have like 10 more videos from sabah coming yeah we have a lot more videos from sabah lots like more than 10 actually yeah it's quite good. Okay, time. First time in Jelly Gorge history, Ivana was done eating before me. Like a big boy. Like a big boy. You keep talking. That's why. Which is good. That's why. Only I can eat normally on live stream. <laughs> I have a sip of your coconut. My mouth is burning. Oh, you still have water. But coconut is better for cooling. That's true. Want the water? <laughs> Amazing that when we started traveling three years ago, I didn't like coconut. In fact, I thought coconut was gross. <laughs> what? I thought the flavor of coconut was genuinely so bad. Now you like it. And now I love it. That will happen with tofu and anchovies. Oh man. <laughs> I've been working at anchovies like. Yeah. I've been really working at Econ Belize and I can't get it. One day. That's my okay. goal. The thing was this. First time I went to Indonesia, met Ivana's family. It was Chinese New Year. And so Ivana's family, all the aunts and uncles, like dozens of people, made this huge feast. And the table was so beautiful. The table was so full of food that people were taking photos of the table. Mm -hmm. It was so much food. And then after they took all their photos and everyone was like amazed by the food, they came to me and they let me know, you might like that one and that one. There was literally two dishes out of the whole table. Because I was doing no coconut. I was doing no spicy. I was doing no seafood. I was doing <laughs> no tomatoes. I was doing no eggplants. I was doing no, like so many things. Yeah. And so there was like two on the end that were like chicken and rice. I remember being so embarrassed that all of this food and what I'm eating is chicken and rice. <laughs> and that was the day I decided I'm going to try to make a goal to eat and enjoy. Wow. And that was like five years ago. So doing pretty good so far. Yeah. But still, Econ Belize is still a top shelf. No, you eat it all. I try. Right. I always try it all. But it's sometimes it, uh, it doesn't 
work on the first goal. Yeah, Ivana, you are right. Steve will love anchovies one day. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. To be honest, anchovies is not my favorite thing in the world either. But I don't mind it. Uh. Like, for example, if you have rice and anchovies is right there versus just eating rice by itself, I would choose to put the anchovies on the rice. Uh. You know? It's a good side dish. Yeah. Mm. We missed some comments here. So shout out to the Adventuresome. Oh, hello. They're also in Malaysia. We saw them in the so chat. So many of our friends are in Malaysia, guys. Yeah. Check out the Dodo Explorers and check out the Adventuresome. Yeah. And of course, Ken. You all know him. And Ken, of He's course. our famous fan. <laughs> Uh, Wee Funk says, how long will my mom's trip be in Malaysia and will she have time for Sabah? I don't know, it's a good question. It'll be up to her. It's kind of her first trip like that. So I'll let her decide what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll just try to um, encourage her to eat lots of food. Yeah. That's my main goal for <laughs> To try, not to eat. Mm. She might like it. She likes charred coil chow. Sarah says, what a changed man. Hashtag growth. Oh, I should feed you this. This is a good one. Someone says, did you miss Terengganu? Freddy Roll. Yeah, we missed Terengganu. Yeah. I think that might be my favorite. It's your favorite state in Malaysia. Hard to say, right? Okay. But that's not a state. Well, it's like a district or something. So that counts. Yeah. I think I would say Terengganu. I like the city. <laughs> I think I would say Terengganu, but I like them all. Kelantan was really nice. Uh, Pahang was really nice. Even Tiny Perlis. Our trip in Kadaw was amazing. The trip in Kadaw was really memorable. I wrote our Sabah. Sabah up there. <laughs> Actually, for me, my favorite state is Labuan. That's the best one. We got a video coming from Labuan. And I think it's the worst video we ever made. I think the title on YouTube is going to say, this is the worst video we ever made. <laughs> we went to well, it's not, to be frank, it's not because of the place. I mean, it's a little bit because of the place, but mostly because of our time there. You'll see what happened. It was a bit of a fail. 100,000 people in its estate. In its a federal district, sorry. Yeah. Forgotten about Yab one. So is the uh, weather unpredictable or not? Very unpredictable. Somewhat predictable. I mean, it rains surprisingly, but it doesn't rain that much. Yeah. It's been okay. The weather's been okay. Uh, will you ever make a video about your income from YouTube? Uh, probably not. W would you do it? No. I mean, will people will be interested in it? I don't know. Uh, We've been doing just travel videos. Just travel videos. You're not making much. Hi, I'm from Labuan, but I moved to Sampona because my parents work there. <laughs> oh, Labuan. Wow, shout out to Hanif Noor. Labuan, man. Labuan, the most forgotten state of Malaysia. Although it's not state again. Federal territory. Yeah. But yeah. A lot of people recommend Bohe Dulang. That's what we plan to do tomorrow. That's what we're going to do tomorrow. Hopefully it won't rain today or tomorrow. Because if it rains, we won't be able to hike and we'll lose our money. So hopefully we can do it. See, that's my anxiety speaking. I'm always like that. Like, what if it this? What if it this? Every what if it day, rains? What every, if it... every time it's raining, Ivana will look out the window and say, hopefully it doesn't rain all week. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. What? The weather is so unpredictable. It's not somewhat <laughs> Yvonne it's and I had Yvonne and I had that most philosophical conversation. I want to ask you guys a question, okay? Just answer this question, just with a yes or no. Is 5 p.m. almost 6 p.m.? Yes. This is just a it's philosophical question. Because Yvonne will say, we have to go soon. It's 5 p.m. I say, I thought we were leaving at 6 p.m. Yeah, it's almost 6 p.m. <laughs> it's 5 p.m. I was like, what? <laughs> That's an hour away. 5 p.m. is not almost 6 p.m. <laughs> so let us know. Is 5 p.m. almost 6 p.m.? We got one yes so far. 
the struggle making videos and challenges you go through. The thing is that we could make a video about the income, but the issue is what's what's not very much money for traveling. It could be a lot of money to other people, and then it seems very. It's hard to say. It's a very sensitive issue. Income is See? very personal. 5 p.m. It's almost 6 p.m. Come on, this is always right, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it depends. I got it depends. I got one. It depends. 5 p.m. is an hour away from 6 p.m. An hour is a long time. Yeah, some people are saying no need for the income video. The problem is it's so personal. It's we don't really do stuff on our channel that's uh, personal. We don't really do political. It's kind of just like good vibes only. Yeah. Well, so. No. Sometimes it's bad vibe too, but it's real. <laughs> it's just travel related real. Just experience yeah. experiences. Haha! Haha! -ha, the adventure sum. That was the debt. Rob is on Steve's side. <laughs> 5 p.m. is not 6 p.m. Not even close. It's an hour away. We've got an hour still. <laughs> Relax. 5 p.m. is 5 p.m. Ivana, it's a 50-50 split over here. When you're in Labuan, don't drink too much. We drank a little bit because we were frustrated, yeah. but and because we are so cheap there. It's unbelievably cheap. Two ringgit. 70, 70. cent yeah. for one beer. Comparing it to mainland here, it's like 15 for one. Shout out to uh, SSM. I understand why you wouldn't want to do it, make an income video. I personally would be interested in it, but I appreciate it's not something for everybody. Very understanding comment. Yeah. Very understanding. 5 p.m. is an hour from 6 p.m. But it is not that long if you're busy getting ready. This is the difference. When you're a bald man, there's nothing to get ready. <laughs> there's no hair to style. You just put a shirt on and go. I can get ready in under one minute. Perfect. True, right? Yeah. Ivana cannot get ready. It takes about... How long do you think it takes you to get ready? Two days, usually. Three days. Yeah. It takes me three days to get ready. And Steve's bag is full of my shoes. <laughs> I love that joke. I make it all the time. I like the one time I said, my bag is full of Ivana's stuff. And then the, the driver won, he says, so what's in Ivana's bag? I go, I don't know, maybe a bag of rice. I don't even know what's in there. <laughs> oh, that was good joking. That was good joking. <laughs> Jet lag warriors is a very punctual people. That's true. <laughs> We're on Canadian time. Canadian time is punctual time. How many shoes do you have, Ivana? Let's count. Uh, three pairs of sandals. True. <laughs> no. Three pairs of sandals. Uh, you have your Nike shoes, right? That's four. You got your high heel boots, high heel shoes. You got rain boots. You got winter boots. Uh, snowshoes. <laughs> uh -huh, it's at uh -huh. least ten pairs. It's at least ten pairs. It's at least ten pairs. And my snowshoes. Snowshoes. My... Yep. Snowshoes. Uh, my skiing boots. Skiing boots. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> My uh, snorkeling the, flippers? Yeah, snorkeling flippers and then uh, the, <laughs> the fishing shoes that go all the way up to your waist that are pants. You got those. And camping Adidas. That's 11 <laughs> pairs. That's 11 pairs. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, it's good joking with you guys. We like hanging out with you once a week. It's really been helpful to our vlog to chill once a week. Uh, it makes us feel like we're in a community. Hockey, yeah, skates. You got our skates. <laughs> Steve, how often do you shave your head? Once a week? Twice a week. I don't know. I don't know either. Whenever I need to. Uh, I should do it more, but when you're married for this long, it's just Ivana loves me for what's on the inside. I say that, and then it's just silence. <laughs> No, it's true. Oh. But you're also, I love you for the outside too. Oh. Inside Ivana, and out. Let's keep it PG. Let's keep it PG. Inside and out. Steve, leave it long and wavy. Yo, if I went long hair, I would look like a freak because I have no hair to like here. And if the back was a ponytail, it's absolutely freaky. We Good. showed you guys one time uh, on one of our live stream in Canada, an old picture of Steve 
With long, long well, hair. With hair, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit of a hunk. <laughs> bit of a hunk. Now you that I'm bald, are... I'm just a big... I look like a <laughs> thumb with two thumbs. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kind of cheesy, but it's okay, I guess. <laughs> That's me and you talking. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, the thing about going bald in the front and long hair in the back, you can only do it if you're rich. Then you're eccentric. If you're poor and doing that, you're just a freak. You know? So I gotta, I gotta, uh, I gotta keep it short. When we hit it big on YouTube, babe, I'll grow a ponytail in the back. <laughs> you don't have to. This is life. Okay, babe, let's finish up here and then we can... The problem is maybe don't walk around some porno because no. it's really sad out there. I'm gonna stay here. I we like we had here. sort of a bad buzz when we came. It was like, we were all excited for the beach. We walked around and it was just like sea of children with no shoes on. And we're like, oh my gosh. So we like, we like bought them food and stuff. But it was still like not beach vibes. Unexpected, yeah, harsh course, reality. Yeah, when we came it was raining and dark and everywhere is like wet and smelly so but when it's sunny it's way better yeah yeah but maybe don't walk around and live stream because you're a bit of a target a big no. big big potack white guy uh, yeah people look somehow intimidating here true yeah someone said like what gangsta. was i bald when you met me i forgot yes <laughs> yvonne remembers you don't remember Fun, a lucky lady. Uh huh. That's right. All right, we gotta stop talking about the way I look because it's making me making me shy. <laughs> Dodo is in JB. Yeah, I think Dodo is in Johorbaru. Yeah. Okay. Their oh, video is in. Yeah. Johor Baru. Yo, Dodo, are you coming to Sarawak? Like, let's do it, man. Meet Ken, who's from Germany, and then we can have. Yeah. Why don't invite all of our friends to Sarawak? Come on. Come, come, come. Do it. We stayed at Dodo's house for a week. Maybe more than a week. Like two weeks. In brush off. And we were sick for a week. <laughs> yeah. We, and Gigi was just taking care of us. Gigi was so making nice. nice breakfast. Nice soup. Gigi got Oh, Gigi, Gigi, Gigi good soup. Can you please, when you come here, Yo. make me some some soup chorba, please. Yeah. We should we should make chorba and sell it in Sarawak. On the roadside. Yeah. Chorba and meat. <laughs> chorba and meat. <gasps> That's an idea. Making Torba oh, and Mitch in Open up a roadside stall. Making Mitch. Can. Come That's on. That's a good idea. Guys, come to Kuching and we'll make a uh, Romanian, Canadian, Indonesian. Your wish will be granted. Torba, Mitch stall. We'll make the meat, but instead of using beef and lamb, we'll use beef and crocodile. Crocodile meat. With sago worm. Sago worm meat. <laughs> With sago worm in the middle. As a surprise. I'm gonna pass. I'm a little busy that day actually guys. I gotta go. I gotta go something else. <laughs> Everyone is talking about Laksa Sarawak and honestly, I already know it cannot live up to the hype. The hype is the most hyped up food I've ever heard of. Most people say try that, it's pretty good. People say you must eat Laksa Sarawak. It is the greatest thing you'll ever put in your mouth. And it makes me, the hype is too Maybe big for Laksa Sarawak. What's my favorite? We tried it once in KL. What's my favorite laksa? I think it might have been Sarawak. Maybe right. Yeah. The hype is real on laksa Sarawak. Yeah. Uh, Mizan is he's saying that Malaysia lost first against Bahrain yesterday. Mm, yeah, sad that's too bad. Face. Hopefully uh, Malaysia will win on the next game. Go Malaysia. Shout out to Lida. I would definitely say Todo Bene. Toro bene. Toro bene. It means all good in Romanian. Toro yeah. bene. Okay, Romanian pop quiz. Romanian challenge. Toro bene. Okay, Romanian. Okay, thank you. You don't even know oh, thank oh, you. Chumas. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, uh, Okay, cheers. I know it is. Cheers in Romanian. The Dodo are watching. Mulțumesc. Um... I don't know what is it. I don't know. You forgot too. I think it's like uh, Nostravia. No, that's like Russian or something. Uh, Norok. 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 Dang, it's Norok. I should have known that one. 
Uh, what else do we know from what else we know from Romanian? What's the money called? Uh, you Romanian. don't even know the money is called. Lee. Got it. What's the population of Romania? <laughs> Thirty million. Sounds a bit high. I would say eight, <laughs> eighteen mil. No, I'll go. I'd come in at thirteen mil. Steve plus Ivana equals Stevana. Actually, our our one day we had a goal. I'm not sure if this is our goal anymore. We had a goal of making a restaurant and calling it Stevana. I would be in the front, you know, serving, and Ivana would be in the back cooking. 19 million. I said 18. That's the point. 19 million. Okay. Romanian challenge. Steve wins. Hashtag Steve is more Romanian. <laughs> Actually, it's true. You don't like Romanian at all. No, I could be Brazilian though. Could be Brazilian. Yeah. Japanese Brazilian. Have you gone to Manuka and Sapi and Manutik? No, we have not. We did go to Ma Mantanani. Mantanani video coming soon. So good. I love that place. So good. Yeah. I love Mantanani Island. Yeah. So good. I haven't even gone to the islands in Sampurna, but I think Mantan. I already know Mantanani is my favorite already. Steve, what is your favorite food in Malaysia? Probably Nasi Lugus Ayam Brampa. Oh. How about Rendang? Rendang is... It's in the world. Is it Nasi favorite food in the world? Is in Malaysia. Yeah. <laughs> I would go Nasi Lugus Ayam Brampa. I also really like um, a good Asam Padas is really good. Asam Padas? So th I listen. forgot the taste of Asam Padas. Sweet and sour. Uh, sweet and spicy. Uh, sour and spicy. Um, Ivana is definitely more Brazilian. Hashtag Ivana more Brazilian. Obrigada. Okay, Brazilian challenge. How do you say? Okay, okay. How do you say all good in Brazilian? Todo bem. Todo bem. <laughs> right. I don't think so. Yeah. What I say, is it? I don't, I forgot. How do you no, say, it's right. Todo bem. Okay. Yeah. How do you say? Bom dia, good, bom dia. Good morning. How do you say good afternoon? Uh, bu, buna. Does it know? What is it? I know. What is it? What is it? What are you? <laughs> I say good night. Bon noite. Bon noite. 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 Tudo bang. Tudo bang. Tudo bang. How do you say the most, the best, the most satisfying sing. swear word? Oh, sang is no. The most <laughs> no satisfying, yes. the most satisfying swear word in all of the words on earth it comes from Brazil. What word is it? Uh, you forgot the, the best swear ever. It's the most satisfying word to say. What I don't mind it? saying it because most people watching don't know I'm swearing. They don't speak Brazilian. They don't speak Portuguese, sorry. <laughs> Akarai. <laughs> it's the most satisfying. Even to bon this day. Caramba. Bon pa caramba. Even to this day, if something goes wrong, I still say Akarai. It's just such a good. It's just like. like cause it, doesn't, it doesn't offend me because it's not actually a swear, but it's just so satisfying to say. True, true. true. Akarai. <laughs> Akarai. Let's see the chat. I like here. that word. What, ne what about negative things about Malaysia? What feedback can you give? This is a good question from Lida. What negative things about Malaysia would you give for feedback? Negative thing about Malaysia. Uh, more or not in the country or the people, it's more in the government, I think. So uh, I'll keep my mouth uh, shut about that, but uh, I think because... I will say this, uh, Wolf of Wall Street was a good movie though. Yeah, I actually enjoyed the movie. <laughs> it's a good movie. Um, the thing about Malaysia is it's not famous. For some reason, it's just not famous for travel. Yeah. I don't know why. Because right next door is Thailand. Everyone loves that place. Vietnam, Although everyone I think loves it's uh, going up now. Malaysia should go up because it's interesting. Yeah. It's got good food. It's got interesting culture. It's got beautiful views. It right. should go up. Yeah. So the negative thing is just some reason it, it doesn't have good... It's possible there's a bit of... In the West, there's a bit of nervousness because it's Islam so they're like oh it's a Muslim country mm -hmm. it's possible you might not explain all of it you might explain some of it yeah but uh, I wish I wish it was more famous I wish it was more popular because it's a nice place to travel it's quite nice hey, right. well the thing is it doesn't it's not famous for like people normally go on a holiday for like the beach it's not like Thailand Thailand's a bit or, more beachy. Or Philippines is super beachy. Yeah, Philippines. Or, or well, the food is famous, so I think Malaysia can promote its food. A the food more. can be more popular. Yeah. Yeah, it could 
be more popular, the food. Um, maybe the culture. Because I, I love Malaysian beaches, but I think it would lose against Thailand. True. Or Philippines. It should or be more on Indonesia, the culture. Yeah. Yeah, it should but be more it on should the culture. Be more culture. It should be more for backpackers, people who want to go explore rather than like a, like a, like a, like a honeymoon in a, on a, if you go on a honeymoon, you go to Bali. Yeah. Or Thailand. You probably wouldn't go to Prantian. It's not really like top, top five star quality. But for backpackers who want to go explore and go meet people and go around, yeah, true. it's quite good. Yeah, it's yeah. quite affordable. The value is really good in Malaysia because it's quite affordable yeah. but good value. Yeah, it's affordable. Because some countries are crazy affordable, but you get really it's like a, bad the, quality. There's no yeah. lock on the door and there's no wind glass in the window. Yes. So this one is pretty affordable with good quality. It's good value. Yeah. I would recommend. Uh, yeah. Malaysia. Although in Malaysia, I I I have noticed the price has increased a lot since we were here last time. Maybe for COVID. Maybe, yeah. I think, I think most places on earth the price has increased. Yeah, Inflation so. has just right. happened because right. of all the stuff that's happened. Yeah. You're right. So, anyway, the question was what bad things you have to say about Malaysia, and we just had a bunch of good stuff. <laughs> so, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, Not much bad about Malaysia. I mean, I mean. No, Malaysia is pretty good. Honestly. The thing, the thing about Malaysia, too, is the nightlife is not the same as Thailand. Oh, that's, that's why. That's going to yeah. be a big hindrance in the in the in the tourism, travel world. Yeah. The party scene is just not the same, not even comparable. That's right. Uh, you and I don't really party much, so it's kind of okay for us. Yeah. But if you were thinking of staying up till two in the morning and dancing all night, Malaysia I don't needs think to improve that. on toilet cleaning, <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> that's true. I mean, you know what I noticed about Malaysian toilet is that they always have a place for the toilet paper, <laughs> and they never have toilet paper. But they never have toilet paper inside. Shout out to Frankie K. Uh, we got a, a man here or a, a, some kind dancing of man. some kind of creature. Ooh. Yeah, man or Thank woman. Thank you, Frankie. Dancing with a leaf in the hair. Very nice. Dun, dun, dun. Thanks, Frankie K. My name is Chiggy Pete. I rock that Chiggy Pete. Chick Chiggy Boom. Chick Chiggy Boom. Inflation is real. Yeah, I think inflation yeah. happened everywhere. It's weird that there aren't many travel vlogs by foreigners about Saba and especially Sarawak, but there are many travelers there as well. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Maybe that's good for us. Um, maybe that's good for us to make some vlogs so they can go up. Mm. What's your battery in your phone here? Oh, we can, we can maybe it. charge it in because the screen went yeah. darker. Maybe on five percent. Okay. Hello from Kohoa. You know, you know where Kohoa is? Kohoa. Where is Kohoa? I don't know. It sounds, like, it sounds, it sounds nice though. But Malaysia is more famous among expats to retire. Uh, oh, interesting. Oh, people will take the whole roll home if it's in. It's a, it's a freebie. You gotta put a lock-in <laughs> key on the toilet paper. Is it, is it plugged in? I think so. Malaysia is also famous. Konoha for Konoha is from Naruto. Mean in Japan. Oh Nar no, Naruto is an anime. <laughs> uh, it's a joke. Ah. I missed the joke. Sorry. Expats prefer to retire in the peninsula. Yeah, it's a good place. I mean, it's comfortable. It's got good value for the money. Yeah, good value for the money. You know, you can definitely find somewhere cheaper, uh, more affordable, but you might get less. Yeah, it's, it's it's comfortable in Malaysia. I mean, the Wi-Fi is pretty good. The um, facilities, the it's clean. The food, there's Western food here. So, yeah. I mean, Oh, shout out to Pakistan. Hi, from Pakistan. We miss you a lot. Hello, hello, Pakistan. We'll be back soon. How are you doing? We'll be back soon. I know we've been saying we're coming back to Pakistan soon for like years, but last time <laughs> our visa got rejected, so we couldn't come. Yeah. So hopefully this time, yeah. or else we'll be we'll keep saying it for the next two years. Next hopefully. two more years. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the visa got rejected last time. Yeah. When will you come back in Romania? Romania, maybe. After Indonesia, we go to Romania, or after Pakistan, but then it will be cold. <laughs> maybe we can go to Romania in Christmas. Christmas, maybe. Oh, do the do the festival where there's a goat, the goat on the stick, the goat face. Oh, the goat. Yeah, Christmas celebration. Can do that stuff. That'd be good for vlog. That's true. Dodo, maybe they're not watching anymore. If the Dodos are watching, let me know if you're gonna be in Romania in Christmas. Yeah. I want to be there in We can definitely do that. 
Dun, 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 dun. I feel like we're gonna run out of battery. Cause the screen is dark now. Was it like that before? Cannot tell. Well, we've been watching it for an hour. You wanna keep going? Don't go to Pakistan before November as it's too warm. Oh, it's gonna be super hot in November. So maybe we go to Romania first in the fall. Go to Brashov, get cold, and make another vlog complaining about the temperature in Brashov. <laughs> get get more hate messages. Yeah, that'll probably work. Someone says try Christmas in Sarawak. Uh, that would be exciting. Uh, Roasted crocodile stuff with uh, stuffing <laughs> and gravy. Uh, you can eat lots of sarmale during Christmas in Romania. Mm. Oh, that sounds good. I love sarmale. That sounds very, very good. Oh. oh. No la, layer cakes. Oh, we had one piece of layer cake, not in Sarawak, but it was Sarawak, Sarawak layer, a cake la piece. Oh, so good. It was amazing. Oh, it was not in Sarawak, it was in KL. Uh, sorry, it was in... Yeah, we tried in Negri KL Simo. last year. Okay, okay. There. But that stuff is so good. It's just like eating a stick of butter. It's so moist. It's so like, good. Uh, and it's so out. colorful too. That's Sometimes gonna, they're yeah. too pretty to eat. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Still eat them. It's a, it's a waistline ruiner. You eat one and you just eat three more. You say, I'm not hungry, and you eat three more. You say, okay, I'm done, and you have two more. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Layer cake, yeah. The Sarawak layer cake is very nice. Very, so good. very nice. Okay, guys, it's been one hour. Yeah. You good? Yeah. Thanks for joining our live stream. Time really flies. I know, we just had lunch and sat here, and it's been an hour already, more than an hour. Sure. So, thanks for joining our live stream. Tomorrow is Monday, there'll be no upload. It'll be a silent day. And then Tuesday, what's the video on Tuesday? Do you remember? Tuesday. What was the last one? Do you remember the last one? The last one is the longhouse. Yesterday, longhouse. Oh, the next one is... Um... Oh, Saban Seafood. Oh, and the next one is a cool video. With the shark. Yo, oh. we swam with sharks. They're at least, they're at least the size of like a, like a lorry. Like as big as a lorry. Huge sharks we swam with. <laughs> we swam with sharks, and then we and then we actually killed and ate the shark. No. Yeah, with our bare hands. <sighs> oh my gosh, you're so funny. All right, thanks for joining our live stream. We'll see you Tuesday for another premiere. I think we're gonna just premiere every video we can from now on forever. Yeah, we have the. I enjoy time. the premieres. Why not? I enjoy the premieres. <laughs> so stay tuned for. Uh, Tuesday. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us. We love you all. Thank you everybody. Bye. Bye.